What's up, you guys? Good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome to a day in my life. Today is Monday, November 28th, and it's the first day back to work after the Thanksgiving holiday. So we're trying to get our lives together over here. The kids don't have school, so they're headed to my mom's, and uh, Mark and I actually have to work today. So I'll be doing that, and of course, we're dressed for the gym, so I'm going to get a workout in this morning to get my day started right and I'm actually going to get a double workout in today because um, we're going to head to the gym a little later too. I feel so like my body is leaning out so well like I definitely feel like I'm getting oh, I'm just getting so much stronger y'all I'm so excited um if you're interested these leggings are from Amazon I love these leggings they become my new favorites the shirt is I think also from Amazon and um sports bra which this is also one of my favorites is from fabletics so it holds you up so well but anyway we're about to um make our creatine and pre-workout and get to the workout um also i did get a very fun package from amazon today so we're gonna unbox that when i get back a little later and yeah, I partook in one of the like Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. This was like the only thing I bought. Well, I bought some skims too, but anyway, this is like the only thing I really bought. And so we're gonna unbox that a little later as well. So welcome to the vlog. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into our day. I look a mess, y'all. I ain't got no keys. What's up? Oh, it is. What time is it? Like 1 30? I think it's like 1 30. And ugly this open. Alright, I went and did my workout. And it was so good. So good. Went and did my workout. And I got home and I worked. I just got off a call. And I feel like when you when you work in um hr well employee relations like i do like people just i don't know if they just like oh you like to sit here and argue with me you're just telling me no to tell me no so basically somebody wanted to terminate wants to terminate an employee all right jumping in the car so when somebody wants to um terminate an employee they come through employee relations and we you know we have a conversation about it see what type of documentation they have all that stuff that's my job that's what i do so um, I was talking to them and I'm like, you just don't have enough documentation for me to support this termination. Now, if anyone's ever worked in um, employee relations or human resources, you know that we don't make any of these decisions. I think that's what people think is that we're the ones sitting around firing people, hiring people. We do not make those decisions. That is not my job, okay? It is your job as the people leader to make that decision. It is my job to give you guidance to make sure that you are doing things fair and consistently and we're doing things as a company fair and consistently and we don't get sued. So we all ain't got to find new jobs like that's my job right there but making the actual decision that is your decision so there are plenty of times where I will say I do not recommend termination it is not like you I don't feel like you have enough documentation I just would not recommend it however and they say you know I respectfully decline your recommendation and I'm going to terminate and I say okay let me know when you do and I'll off board period that's it right that's it you want to do it you want to do it I'll say okay and I just put in my notes I told them not to terminate they said screw you I'm terminating anyway and that's that right but like some people just want to go back and forth with you and I just be like don't why are you going back and forth with me why are you going back and forth with me like all I'm doing is trying to help you out like it just oh my gosh I'm like I just needed a break okay <laughs> I just needed a break so <clears throat> I'm headed to the grocery store to just get a few things I want to do this um, I saw this orzo meal prep orzo is kind of like rice I had never heard of orzo until I got hello fresh but I saw this like orzo meal prep and so I want to 
um, get some orzo so I can do that and I just want to like prep some lunches so this is where I always lose it with my diet I like I do good with the breakfast I had my overnight oats for breakfast that I prepped um, yesterday but I never prep lunch and so then I have nothing to eat for lunch and I'm like running crazy don't have time to cook and then I just eat something bad so we're gonna get some prep stuff so we can prep for lunch and um also eat lunch because i'm starving but that's what i'm doing that's why i'm running to the store i also forgot to take chicken out so i can cook dinner and your girl has to cook dinner we ain't got no chicken out it's all frozen so i gotta pick up some chicken too so there's that but i'm just i was staring at that computer screen since i got home from my workout and i was like i just need a little break okay these people is not gonna get on my nerves today first day back these people ain't gonna get on my nerves so, oh, and for those of you who don't know, I don't even think I introduced myself. My name is Cece. I work in employee relations in tech. And um, I have been in HR, in the HR space for about eight years now. So I pr love what I do. I love being in HR, ER, um, having, giving the employees a voice and being able to just really shape the future of the company through the company's biggest asset which is its people is definitely my passion i kind of fell into hr and i found that it's something that i really love and i'm really passionate about so i just really enjoy being in the hr space and i feel like over the last I don't know I feel like over the last few years HR has become so much more popular than it was before and so I get so many questions from you guys about how to break into HR I'm gonna do an updated video about how to break into HR and um, all of that because I feel like I've just been getting so many questions lately about that and so y'all my people I'm gonna help y'all out so top of the year um, we're gonna do a video talking about how to break into HR in 2023 so we'll do that but anyway we're gonna run to the grocery store get the stuff that we need and then head back home back home and work and I'm also gonna open my fun package with you guys okay y'all we made it back home figure we could do a little let's move this a little bit little grocery haul here show you some of the stuff I got so ended up picking up some yellow potatoes we are all out of potatoes use them all for thanksgiving dinner last week um they had these little lighters for a dollar 99 these multi-purpose lighters and i go through these so much i do have my electric ones but sometimes i like a flame so i got two of those because those are normally like five dollars um, I picked up some orzo. Like I told you guys, I was grabbing some orzo. I'm going to make some lunch with that in a second here. I got some all-natural boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And I was going to make chicken breasts with my orzo for lunch, but I ended up just picking up one of these um, rotisserie chickens. These whole rotisserie chickens. I love getting these. These are so easy for like pre-made meals and stuff like that. And meal prep. I got one of these Uncle Ben's butter and garlic ready rice. Those are also really nice. A bourbon apple chicken sausage. Those are great for quick lunches as well. A protein drink. And some broccoli. So I'm going to cut up the broccoli and put that on the stove and then I'm going to also make the orzo real quick and cut up some of the ready chicken and we're gonna have us a nice quick and easy lunch.
Okay, here's how our meal turned out. So good, broccoli, chicken, orzo. And then I put this sweet chili sauce on top. Super good. And I'm about to kill this. I ate that food. It was so good. It's probably broccoli all in my teeth. Anyway, I have about 20 minutes for my next meeting. So I figure we can sit down and open up my package. I'm so excited. So I've been like going back and forth with wanting to get a new vlog camera for the longest. So I've been using like my big camera, my T8i which is just big, it's heavy, it don't fit in no purse, you know. It's really hard to vlog with that on the go. Like I've been doing good vlogging with it here when I'm in the house, but on the go, it's just really hard. But I have a multitude of cameras and I really didn't need to spend any more money on a camera, right? However, however, Sony actually just came out with this really compact, like inexpensive vlog camera well i mean it's inexpensive compared to other cameras um they came out with this more inexpensive camera it's like a beginning a beginner vlog camera and so i thought it would be perfect for you know to put in my purse or on the go when i just want to go out and vlog i sometimes will try to vlog with my gopro but i don't know i feel like unless it's an action shot the gopro is kind of more hassle than it's worth so this is what i picked up it is the new, I think it just came out like a month ago. It's the new Sony ZV-1F. So if you've been watching videos, everyone's been talking about the Sony ZV-1, right? And that camera's about, it's Cyber Monday right now, so it's on special. But I think the regular price is like $750, and this, and today is actually on sale for $650, but this camera was only $499. So I've been looking at the ZV-1 for the longest and then I saw they were coming out with this one and I was like, well, I really don't need like some of the other features, the differences between the ZV-1 and the ZV-1F. It's just kind of like, I don't know that I'd use. So I feel like this will be perfect. It's so light. Oh my God, it's so light. Like y'all, I've, I've literally been vlogging. Like right now I'm vlogging with my Canon M50. I love the M50. Still a bit of a bigger camera because it has interchangeable lenses. So it's still a, big, a bit of a larger camera. Um, and I used to have a Canon G7X Mark II, but I don't know what happened to that camera, y'all. I lost it in between. I don't know what I was doing. I can't even remember. I think, I, I don't know what happened to that camera. Like it just disappeared one day. And I loved that camera. And I've been contemplating on getting it again. But I was just looking at some of the newer cameras out on the market and I thought this one would be perfect. So it is the Sony, like I said, ZV-1F. And this is what it looks like. I haven't had a Sony camera in quite a while. I've been a Canon girl, but I figured I would try because Sony is trying to make a comeback with these cameras. Now, it has a prime lens, which means that it does not, fo not focus. It does not zoom in and out so it's a prime lens it stays this one this one um distance away is that what you would call it it stays this this one space right so you can't zoom in you can't zoom out um but like it's just so lightweight holding let me show you guys what i've been using okay so this is the camera that i've been using in the house this is my canon t rebel t8i Look at the difference, y'all. This camera is so big. Like, I mean, honestly, it's big, it's heavy. And like I said, I use it around the house. Um, I do take it out sometimes, like I'll use it in the car and stuff, but it's just so large. It's not practical for vlogging. It wasn't made for vlogging, but I was doing more vlogs versus um, sit down videos. Not to mention, you guys know I have a family vlog channel, so there would be some days where this Canon M50 that I'm using today, that's our primary vlog camera. And so there would be some days where Mark would be vlogging for something and he'd have the vlog camera and I would, you know, have to work with the bigger camera and it's just really impractical for vlogging. So I am so excited about this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and charge it up. Is the battery in here? No, the battery's not in here. Well, let me show you guys what else I got before we go with that because I did pick up, I just picked up some extra, some extra batteries. So I just grabbed some extra batteries. I grabbed 
two extra batteries and then it comes with like a little battery charger so that's perfect and now what's in here oh they had memory cards like super cheap yesterday so i picked up another 128 gig memory card and then i picked up a book it's a couple's devotional book and it's supposed to have little um talking and thinking points for couples in it so i picked that up too but those are the things i grabbed let's put the battery in here and then we'll plug it in and charge it and we'll test it out a little later what does it come with oh comes with a little wind muff so the microphone is up here let's focus there okay so the microphone is up here at the top so the camera comes with like a little wind muff and how do you oh 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 just snaps in there and so it sits on the top of the camera so the wind does not like distort the sound at all but on the side it also has a microphone jack so I usually use this little guy that I got from Amazon and I'll link all this stuff below that's the microphone that I normally use and so does this open yeah have like four of these and so you can just put this here and honestly with that plugged in you can remove this wind muff and you can just have your your microphone here right so there's that and that's if you didn't want to use the internal audio I heard the internal audio isn't that bad um actually pretty good but clearly I have not tried it yet Let's see if I can see just a little bit of it. I'm gonna get my settings going, make sure I have my settings right. I'm gonna play with this tonight when we get back from the gym, but like I said, it's been so long since I've used a Sony camera. Which one's the on button? Maybe it's just not turning on because it's completely dead. Oh no, the on button's here, that's why. English, it has a touch screen. Could connect a smartphone I'll do it later I understand all right hmm. picture looks really good this is what we look like see look at the distance it's wide angle I love the distance oh y'all can't even see it hold on <laughs> So it's wide angle, love the distance here, look at that. Like it's perfect for just when you have your arm out and you don't have a tripod and you're just holding the camera. It also has some sort of built in like filter which I'm gonna have to turn that down but that's what we look like so far. So far so good. I'm just I, like that, I could not keep using that bigger camera for doing vlogs outside the house. Let me see. Just couldn't keep doing that. Okay, we're gonna have to play with her. We're gonna play with her later. So it has a, what is this, a 20 millimeter lens? I think it's a 20 milli, milliliter, millimeter lens. So that's pretty wide angle. It has a pretty wide angle and you get like a nice, a nice field of view which is really good and that's what I want it because also when you use the bigger camera I have a zoom lens for the bigger camera that gives me a good field of view but let me show you the size of the lens so if I want to use a zoom lens on my bigger camera this is the lens that I have which is super heavy I feel like this lens is heavier than the camera itself so this is the lens it's a 17 a Sigma 17 to 50 millimeter lens this would be good right but this is my smallest lens that'll work best for vlogging and it is a 24 millimeter lens but it's still too close up for my liking so I, I can't like do shots like this where I'm looking at myself and looking at the camera and talking because it's still too close up for my liking um this would be perfect if it was not like 10 pounds so you can't vlog <laughs> like you can't vlog with a camera this large right so I use this mostly for sit down video and that's what I was doing before but like I said I just found myself there were times where it was like 
we were going two separate places and we were vlogging for the vlog channel and I was vlogging for my channel and you guys know I posted way more vlogs this year on this channel than I ever have so it just got to the point where we were kind of bumping heads on cameras and I was like okay let's see um what else is out there and i really think this is going to be perfect i'm going to test it out for a few days try it out see how i like it and um and i'll definitely keep you guys updated the next video actually the next video on this channel you guys will probably see um this camera it be shot with this camera so we'll definitely have a really good good um grasp on how it works okay anyway um that's my little unboxing i'm gonna get back to work for like the next 40 minutes and then we're gonna head to the gym